Okay, short video. Every time I say that, it ends up being a long video. There we are. There's a lot of thought processes behind me think well, thinking about what I'm thinking, and that's a thought process in uh, in and of itself. Yeah, I'm rambling. Okay, let's get to the point. A person's eye movements and body language, eye movements and uh, eye closing, looking down, and so on. Is an important part of body language. And, you know, even if someone's wearing a burqa, um, you might want to read what their eyes are doing, as opposed to hands, arms, the way they move the torso, and so on. Um, so a person's eye, eye movements can reveal a little bit on what the mind is how the mind is focusing on certain aspects of what they're saying and what they think about what they're saying. Yeah. You know, or how they're processing information before they're saying what they're saying and afterwards as well. So you know, recording a picture, a person may look up to their left. Not always, but usually self talk looking down to the left i know that's true of me because i caught myself doing it you know thinking about some personal things here and there and also some of the thought process also triggered me thinking about body language and i thought oh just had some self-talk i'm still looking down to the left and it's been said that that happens to people when well, that's what they're doing when they're looking down to their left. Yeah, so it seems to be true for me. Um, so looking up, recording a picture and looking up to the left, looking down to the left, self talk, looking left straight relatively straight like that be perhaps recording a sound um recording a feeling looking down to the right i think that's true of me as well i have to maybe try and analyze myself a bit more but i feel like it's true of me um yeah to, yeah, that's looking down. Got some notes here in front of me. Recording a feeling looking down to the right, yeah. Uh, talking to oneself down to the left, yeah. With this in mind, uh, my Twitter handle was tagged in that body language, though, from... You know, that was the tweet, and I was tagged in it. Uh, thank you, Cheshire Vic. It's interesting. And I was thinking about different cultural differences, how people act, and so on. If you're a sort of person that has to wear a burqa, or so on. Um, but then I later learned that this individual is suddenly taking on aspects of the culture that she's really not anything to do with and it never a uh, whole plethora of other nuances i don't think the cats are fine other people don't know what i'm talking about if they've seen this tweet and so on um i don't think she's going to be gone for a little while she's going to keep pumping out tweets uh pumping out videos i mean youtube videos um I don't think she's genuinely taken on the um, act, because it's an act, I think it's an act. I do not feel like uh, the individual is being honest with themselves. They are trying to convince themselves instead that they're a certain way in order to appease or please or whatever this person that they 
claim is the love of their life. Um, or too soon. What this person, you, you don't take on another culture's uh, and belief system like that overnight, unless you're schizophrenic, you know, or split personality disorder or something. It doesn't happen. Yeah. I mean, when people say something and they're at the conclusion, at the end of the sentence or whatever, then look down. If I, you know, if I said to you, but well, about something, maybe I've been accused of something, and I'm looking you in the eye and saying, "Well, it had nothing to do with me. I, I didn't do it at all. It has nothing to do with me." <laughs> yeah. Kind of like how Savage Minnow one day went, they sort of twisted everything I said. Hmm. What's that looking down to the right, having a feeling? But covering your mouth when you're saying it. Children cover their mouth once they lie after the fact that they told a lie. And, Oops! I hope I, don't, I hope I don't get found out. Oops! That came out of my mouth. The childlike innocence. Um, but it doesn't matter if everything was at this point. Everything was twisted anyway. Uh, we know it wasn't. But the yeah, savage man who at the time was acting out of jealousy of somebody's success, which has turned out to be not success because they turned out to be utter garbage anyway many people know who i'm talking about and doesn't matter the savage manu doesn't have to worry anymore that we because we don't support a particular individual anymore anyway regardless <laughs> but this is about somebody else it's not about savage uh you know it's yeah, well, you just see these individuals on the internet acting out in particular ways that don't seem to be in line with their true character or, or what seems to be uh, some aspects of their character or what people have got to know, and it's very contradictory. And then later you find out, oh, they're doing this because they're trying to appease somebody or please them uh, to be a particular way and so on. Um... Yeah. Why does this happen? Why does this happen? It happens because the internet is an extension of the real world. The real world is a very shitty place. The internet is a dangerous place, particularly when you fall into the trap of thinking, "Oh, I can pretend to be somebody else on the internet." Yeah doesn't work it's never going to work and don't lie to people over the internet because that's probably worse than actually lying to somebody in person it spreads even more quicker via the internet potentially can do potentially um drama and so on don't lie to people out of the means for your own ends so you know it depends on the lie but it's a small white line point you know, everyone lies. It's like you get to work in the morning. You're, you're right. Yeah, fine, thanks. But not really. It's, I mean, I say, yeah, fine. I'm, I'm relative, relatively fine in the moment. But I've had the year from hell. Um, family has had a year from hell as well. But things are beginning to smooth out. Despite, you know, the other week, my brother... Covid, flu, appendicitis, bang, 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 right, right after the other, one after the other. He's coming around now. He's getting, getting stronger each day. There's a bit of more mobility. He's still, his stomach, his muscles are still a bit sore, but I mean, his energy levels will be sapped anyway because Covid and flu. Oh wow, yeah, <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> It, that's 
one day perhaps i'll make a whole separate video on that um but saw him when did i see him that yesterday i think yeah it was yesterday and he's doing all right went for a walk about together and try to keep at his pace i'm a fast walker anyway uh, most people would seem to walk a little bit slower than me yeah there are some people who walk faster so it's hard to i spend it's weird i spend more energy talk walking slower trying to keep up with someone's slower pace than i would if i was walking my pace or it feels like it anyway um <laughs> but yeah body language and eyes and eye movements and think about context uh of what's being said but also context of the, the person as well what's their baseline and the looked at other videos about their baseline as well and there are videos without a burka the face exposed and so on um, and stop calling yourself a foodie just say you're fat because you like junk food i could i could do with losing a bit of weight um in my own personal view don't think i'm too bad but for my own health and try to be a bit health conscious uh i need to lose some belly fat i think and i'll get there particularly the now that this there's some nuances in my own life out the way uh, i'll be able to focus a bit more on myself um so if you do see me looking a bit slimmer in the face and all that over coming months what would you get christmas out of the way maybe because christmas can be a bit too tempting with things so um mince pies turkey christmas dinner <laughs> uh, <coughs> we're approaching we're getting a later end of the year so well, that's going to be approaching right um just because it's in front of me doesn't mean to say I have to eat it. Well, it's too tempting because it's in front of me. You know, I put my hand up and admit that. Um, yeah, this I guess this video can go on EMP Network channel because I feel like I should have called the other channel EMP Network and not this. But this is the dumping channel, the EMP Network channel. Um, yeah. Thanks for the tweet. Thanks for tagging me in the tweet, because it is kind of funny, really. Because you could do a deep dive on body language with somebody in America. Actually, sort of. <laughs> Even though you can't see the body, but you can't don't see the burka moving much, out of hand and gestures underneath it but you might think well why would you you're wearing a burka you don't want who's going to see your gestures anyway well think about it you don't i'm very expressive as you can see you know <laughs> i use my hands a lot but you don't think i mean i don't i don't think most people do either you don't think oh i need i'm going to say something i need to move my body in particular ways to be in line with what I'm saying. Now you think about what you're saying first and all this gesturing comes somewhat automatic, somewhat semi-conscious. It's not the, at the forefront of your mind. You don't move your hands and arms and the side effect is words coming out. You express your thoughts and feelings and the side effect is hand gestures arm gestures torso movements arms legs legs what do you put a comment below and tell me what do you think is the most honest part of a person's body in body language which body language actions reactions are the most honest in, in terms of really telling uh the observer what is going on not some body language thing like a fake smile or whatever but which yeah you get genuine smiles 
Thanks, Smiles. Which part of the body is the most honest? I think a lot of people will get this wrong. Unless you've heard me say uh, what I think that is, and perhaps you've read up on it and you haven't heard me say, but you read up on this in from valuable enough sources of information anyway what put the comment below what do you think is the most honest actions part of your body that engages in body language which is the most honest cheers thanks for watching take care and cheshire i don't i don't think the cats are fine among other things, I don't think things are fine at all. I think this person's trying to convince himself of something. And then complaining about it, that other people, it's other people's fault if they don't buy the act. And, you know, doubling down on trying to convince. But, you know... Um, couldn't really tell that from that single video of course um but that colors my view anyway and just the eye movements all uh, round and round or up and down <laughs> just have a look at that after what i said have a look at the video and then think for yourself are the cats okay or uh are they really okay? Will they be gone for a while? Or will they be back very soon? Putting out more YouTube videos complaining about people saying, Oh, I don't think you're genuine. Uh, yeah. Cheers. Bye.